Investigation into a deadly police shooting is now over. Tonight, the Warren County prosecutor says an officer was justified in shooting an escaped inmate at a Mason Hotel in July. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham has been following this case for months. Here is what he learned today. In a written statement, prosecutor David Fornshell says escapee Thomas Cromwell threatened suicide by cop and claimed that he was going to go out in a glorious death while he held a woman at knife point in a Mason hotel room. Fornshell says he will not present the case to a grand jury because the police shooting was, in his words, objectively reasonable. The shooting happened three days after Cromwell and another inmate escaped from the minimum security River City Correctional Center in Cincinnati. River City is designed for nonviolent, low level felony offenders needing treatment for drug and alcohol use. Cromwell had been convicted of two violent crimes, including a shooting. In addition to his addictions to alcohol and drugs, he'd also been diagnosed with mental illnesses. But he didn't receive treatment during his three weeks at River City because Scott McVeigh, the executive director, said he was still within that one month orientation phase. Cromwell's mother, Tracy Gaines, spoke with us last month about her son's severe mental illnesses and the shooting that killed him. We heard them kill him. We were there the whole 12 hours. Never get that sound out of my mind. Where's Tommy? And then I seen an ambulance pulled to the side of the building with no lights on very slowly. And I pulled my husband aside and I said, he's gone. I felt the breath come out of me. When Tommy died, I asked God to give me his demons so I could fight him and win him for him because my son wasn't strong enough to do that. Mrs. Gaines told the I team that prosecutor Fornshell called her yesterday to share details of the investigation and let her know that the case would not be presented to a grand jury. She says Fornshell provided information that was not included in his statement, but will be part of the BCI investigation that will be posted on the attorney general's website as soon as the records are redacted.